Hey, what's going on? It's Mark Sanders, Blackout 33 again. Today, I'm going to go over um, go over something I have. It's uh, some Vibram Five Toe Shoes. Um, before I purchased them, I kind of had some uh, some doubts about them. I didn't think they'd be comfortable. I didn't think they'd, they'd hold up. But, uh, man, I was wrong. I actually have had them for about, for about three years now. can't remember the actual name of these here, but these were the first ones that I bought. They have been field tested, they have been through mud, they've been through slop, they've been through water, I've been hiking in them. Overall, no complaints with the Vibram Five Toe Shoes. Once you learn how to put them on, they're a little hard to begin with to be able to, to, to get your toes spread open, to be able to get in every slot because you still have to reach down. It feels like you got to go like this every time, make sure all your toes are in there. But you can't really, a lot of people think that you're going to feel... Um, the material in between your toes and drive them crazy. It's not the case. You really can't feel it at all. Um, these here, I've been in the North Georgia mountains. I've gone over, you know, the roots, rough terrain. They actually grip well in the water on uh, on the river rocks. And once you come out of the water, it doesn't take no time at all. These things are dry. You don't get blisters from them. These have been worn, as you can see, they're already, they stay open by their stuff once they take the form of your foot. It's easier to slip in and out. These are more for a uh, rough run. I hope you can see this here on both of them. The, the grips kind of slightly curve over the top of the toes. They're thicker tread. They have thicker, um, a tread here where your body weight's going to be more likely to, to be uh, put on the bottom of your shoe. And again, these are the Vibrams uh, Five Toe Shoes. Um, they're, they're, they have some, I don't know what the material is actually on the inside, but it's, it's soft, it's comfortable. No complaints out of these. I would love to get another pair. These are a little older. I don't know if they make this style anymore. I like them so much, I got a another version. I left this on here. It's a carabiner. Uh, these are awesome Vibram Five Toe Shoes, just a different style. They have a mesh top. They dry quick. Uh, if you can see the tread here, they're not as they're not as thick. They're more for I guess for just walking and everyday use, not for hard hiking that sort of thing. The cool thing about these is you can tighten these up around your feet. They have the Velcro here, cinch them down as tight as you want. I actually keep this on my hiking pack with a carabiner, hook it straight on my pack. So if I have to go across a, a river or a creek or just want to get out in the water and just chill out for a few, take my boots off my socks. They stay dry. I put these on. And hook them right back to my back when I'm done. They dry quick. They don't give you blisters. They help you grip. Um, if you've never tried a pair on, go try them on. You absolutely love them. There's a lot of people that run in these things. Don't get frustrated with trying to get your, your toes pushed in, uh, in the little toe slots here. You'll eventually figure out your way to get them in there. And once they stretch out a little bit, they're good. You have your five toes here. Get them in there, wear them, take them out, jog, get them, hike in them, and see what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, uh, to get back with me. And again, this is Mark Sanders, Blackout 33. And remember, you don't have to be ready 100% tomorrow. You just have to be 100% ready today.